the war on masculinity continues. Now, if you are a young boy in high school, you can dress up as a woman and then go to the prom or to the graduation and say that I am a woman. And the school boards across the country, not all, but many of them are beginning to accept this. And they are not just accepting it, but they are supporting it with a passion. They are out there in the front row, clapping, cheering, and doing whatever it takes to support anyone who feels that if you're a man, you can become a woman, and if you are a woman, you could become a man. That right there to me is a serious mental disorder. If you enter this world as a man, for example, you are a man, plain and simple. Let's put the scriptures to the side and let's talk about this scientifically. You are a man. If you, like I said, entered this dimension by the grace of God, who knew you in the womb, according to his own words, and you came into this, to this world, and please don't think that I'm trying to be funny about this, what I'm about to say. If you came into this world with a penis, you are a male, period, and vice versa. So that being said, this war is being how should I say, the devil is on the sidelines with a big shovel with lots of coal on it. And he is just tossing that hot coal right into this burnis, burning furnace, I mean, furnace, not just in America, but in many other nations. And the nations who are being controlled by the demonic are in union. And they are the ones that are influencing the communities within those nations. So that what the traditionalists like myself are saying are obsolete, wrong, and immoral. They want us to, they want us to look like we are the villains. That we are the ones who are intolerant. And then they are quick to pull out, out they, they, they are quick to use the scriptures against us by saying that, look, see, it says here that you must love your neighbor the way you love yourself, and you are not loving us. Let me tell you something. It is not unloving to tell the truth. When you see a child in a burning building, you go out there and you will do whatever it takes to enter the building just to make sure that the child comes out alive, okay? You don't simply stand on the sidelines and watch the, the, the burning building just come crumbling down on the child. You, in other words, have to do something. And when you do something, you are doing it out of love. So that being said, to those of you who strongly believe that this, transgen this transgenderism is normal and it's okay, I have to respond in love, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that it is wrong. It is a mental disorder. It is an illness, I believe, personally, created by Satan with the intent to throw people off from what God knows in his heart as normal. In other words, the devil is out here so busy twisting everything that God already established from the beginning of time. That's all he's doing. He's twisting masculinity so that the outsiders of the Christian faith will look upon the opinions of mine and many others who share my opinions. They will look upon it like as if it is a disgusting thing for us to hold such opinions, but I have to say that we who
who are believers, soldiers of the cross, have to stand on God's truth. We have to defend it. We have to promote it. We have to spread it. Even if you cannot stand it, we have to do it. Why? Because if we don't do it, that's unloving. When we stand in silence with the truth, that's unloving. When we see that burning building come crashing down upon you and we're just on the sidelines chewing bubble gum, that's unloving. Okay? So, please, I truly hope before it is time for you to depart from this dimension, accept Christ and his truth, get to know him, establish a relationship with him. Don't just simply go to church and think that you did enough because you just went to church and you gave and you was just a nice person and you took care of your family. No, 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 no. That's not salvation. Salvation is knowing that Christ already took care of your sins on the cross over 2,000 years ago. After that, then you have to start walking with Christ, which means that you have to lay aside, put to the side, once and for all, the principles that you are living, that you was living with. Those principles that you thought kept you in line for many years. In fact, they wasn't. They were there planted by the devil so that he can throw you off from God's path. And let me tell you, the devil is succeeding big time. He has managed to convince probably billions right now as we speak. He convinced many of them to believe that the Christians are the true enemies. And he is doing this successfully. And one day when the Antichrist comes, he is just going to continue from where the devil left off by claiming to be God when he steps into that third temple. And then that's when you're going to see the evil that the Lord was restraining for many years, referring to the Holy Spirit, according to the word to Paul. So that being said, my brothers and sisters, before I let you go, the truth is much more important than how you feel. The truth of God is more significant than your own little personal lifestyle. Don't think that it is okay to continue living your own way just because you think that it is okay. It's not okay with the God of heaven, the God of eternity, who always dwelt in eternity, always believed that it wasn't okay. So if he strongly, if he, excuse me, if he is saying that it is not okay, then you should start thinking the way God thinks. Because if you die believing in, believing in your own methodologies, let me get my words right. <clears throat> if you die with your own met methodologies, if you die with your own ways, you're not going to make it, period. Why? Because Jesus said so, not because I said so. This is the Preacher Man signing out. May the Lord Christ, Yeshua, the King of Kings, bless you all and your families. And in Jesus Christ's holy name, I say amen. Peace.